my chicken, Matthew. Jeez. What are you doing? I'm examining these chickens. I love you, chicken. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. My name is Fiesta Jones, wildlife expert, enthusiast, and animal person guy. Now, I'm here to take you on all types of wildlife adventures. And tonight, we're going to go look for some reptiles and all kinds of creatures and stuff. So, follow me, and we're going to go see the world of the animals. Now I gotta go put my chicken away. Give me one second. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, are you gonna protect my chickens for me? I love my chickens. I love my chickens. I love you. <laughs> I just love my chickens. This guy's name is, is Hugh Jackman, because he's just jacked as a whistle. Oh, jeez. Now he's the guardian of my chickens. That's why I have him protect all. Ah! That's why I have him protect all. Ah! <laughs> That's why I have him protect all my chickens. So stay tuned, and I'm going to go get bongos. Right? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, bongos, we're going to go on an adventure. Whoa! Hey! away and kiss your turtle goodbye. Let's get out of here. We got animals to document. Well, call me a crispy biscuit and a fat lady stomach. What do we got here? Well, hey, little guy. Hey, little guy. You want to be my friend? Now that... Oh, Jesus! It's not his name. He's called the Veiled Chameleon. And he's actually invasive species. What's interesting about these guys is exotic reptile owners have let them loose in certain pockets of South Florida. Now they're not that detrimental to our ecosystem since they only really eat insects. But they are just cool. They can change color to adapt to their environment. They'll change color when they're in a bad mood or if they're mating. And they're just trippy little lizards. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Wow. They got little feet like mittens like this. Like we come in peace peace and prosper like you know the Star Wars people stuff like that aliens stuff now the cool thing about those hands it's called zygodactyl feet that's a scientific term for the mint hands now if your mom ever asks you hey sweetie what happened to the rest of the pie pie your father wanted some and also what do you call chameleon's feet I want to know a scientific name yeah. oh I know I was watching Fiesta Jones and he said they got zygodactyl feet duh mom you should have known that you're a big lady and you know what? I don't know where the freaking pie pie is. You know, maybe I ate it. Mind your own business. I'm hungry. You should feed me more. Anyways, let's learn more about these chameleons. You know, the cool thing about them is they got cute little curly tails. And that tail will curl up around a branch and help them balance. So they're like, oh, it's windy. I got my tail. And they'll wrap it around. And they're all secured like a boat with an anchor. <laughs> Oh, hey, these chameleons are just fascinating little creatures. They got eyes that go different ways. So they can focus on the sky while they're focusing on a cricket. And then once they're ready to hit their target with those big, long, sticky tongues, the eyes will focus. So when those eyes look at you, they look at you, look at my eyes. When they look at you like this, you know you're a dead bug. Have a good look at that chameleon. Can I get a little high five, Mr. Chameleon? Yeah, friends forever. Huh. Awesome. Hey bongos, come check out this chameleon. Hey bongos, come check this out. Take it off. 
It's a chameleon. Hey, what do eat? No, what do eat? no, just talk about it. Eat? No. Eat. No. No. Bongos. Play us a tune. That's what you're here for. You want to sing? Chameleon. Chameleon. No! I want to eat. No bongos! Senor? Where is the... Where is the familia? Bongos, it's on your hat. Where is the familia? Bongos, it's on the back of your hat. On the back of your hat. Where is the familia? Bongos, what's in there? Oh, hey, your bongos caught something. I want to eat. <laughs> bongos, no. I want to eat. Bongos. I want to eat. No. No. Well, call me a marmoset with the milk salad. Jesus, God. Oh, I hate my job. Hey, guys. Well, we just finished up with that chameleon. Now we're going to go find some other cool critters because chameleons are just boring, man. I need something fasty. Like, is that right, Mongos? Let's go. He's full of pizzazz. <laughs> all right, let's go. So anyways, we're on an adventure looking for all types of interesting wildlife. And you know what, Bongos? Those chameleons bore me. I'm sick and tired of chameleons. I want to find something new, something more fresh. Now call me Samuel Jackson in a staring contest. We got to sell brown water snakes. Look at this, Bongos. Give me the pee. Give me the pee. Yeah, we got brown water snakes. They're cool as cake. I can't rap, so let's talk about them. Check this out. You thought chameleons were cool? Forget about them chameleons. Because we got them sell some water snakes. These are called brown water snakes, not blue water snakes, not gray water snakes, not, uh, 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 what's another color? <laughs> not green water snakes. These are Florida brown water snakes. And don't. Now, if you look at their bellies, check that out. It's brown and white. Isn't that gorgeous? And you check this one out, it's like blue, like a light blue color. And that's because he's about to go through shed. Isn't that right, Mongos? Exactly. And you know what? Now you just learned something. When a snake turns blue, that means it's about to shed. It loses the sight in its eyes and becomes very defensive. Now, if your mom ever asks, Hey, sweetie, why is there laundry in the basket? And also, why do snakes get blue bellies? You say, Mom, they get blue bellies because they're about to shed. And then you go, stop beating me with stupid questions about laundry, Mom. Why don't you do it? I go to school. I do things. I walk that dog. Anyways, now some fascinating things about these snakes is the way their scales are, are designed. They've got a hard texture because out in the Everglades we got we got sharp sawgrass, we have rough limestone rocks, and they need protection because their environment is that. Just that. Sawgrass and limestone rocks that are submerged in the water. So to protect themselves, they got these hard keeled scales to move through it with ease instead of getting cut up with soft scales. You know, they're a beautiful animal that sadly gets common. Bongos? They're a beautiful animal that commonly gets confused with the water moccasin. Sadly, people see them and say, Our natural water moccasin! Get the shovel! Get the shotgun! Get grandma! And then they kill them. And it's quite sad, because even the water moccasin wants nothing to do with you. They're minding their own business. They're bongos? They mind their own business. Another cool thing about snakes is a lot of people ask me, where is the he or she members. You know what I mean, Bongos? T. Exactly. Where is the genitalia on the snake? Tell me, can you guys see the genitalia on a snake? It's, it's not that, that's my mustache. Now believe it or not, on the snake, right here, is where the genitalia is. Can you tell me where? Point, tell me. No, Bongos, how, no, that, all right. 
Right here is where it's called the cloaca, and this is common amongst all reptiles. Now that means that they breed from here, they, they produce babies from here, they lay eggs, and they give live birth. This species in particular gives live birth because it's an aquatic species, and to make things quicker, faster, and better for survival, the snakes just come out, popped alive, and they swim off. Now, another cool thing about this animal is, if this was a boy, guess how many penises it would have? Zero. No. This animal would have... One. No. This animal would have two penises. Exactly. And another interesting thing is, you might notice that this girl is a lot bigger than the boy we were just holding. And that's because with female snakes, most species are much larger than the male counterparts. This is for a higher fat content so they can breed bongos. She's taken. This is so they can breed and produce babies. If they were skinny and had less fat, they wouldn't be able to produce eggs or develop the young properly. So that's why most female snakes are much larger than the males. Isn't that fascinating? Bongos, tell us something about them. I want to eat. No! Bongos. We, we talked about this. We, we talked about this. You know? What do you want to eat? I'll take you, I'll take you out after the shoot. We had Taco Bell last time. Yeah, was you? Uh, I could eat Payway. Yeah. Alright. Play the beat. Now, all the interesting things I'm teaching about these snakes, I want you to take home and teach your family members. I want you to talk to your friends, your family. I want you to talk to your dog if you're crazy. Alright, we're going to thank this little girl for her time, and we're going to let her go to breed and live a beautiful life in the beautiful swamps. Yeah. Sing a song about the water snake before we let her go. Goodbye, Mr. Snake. Friends yeah. for life. Uh. Camellia. Camellia. Live long, peace, and prosper, just like Luke Skywalker.